We all know that Blender requires additional add-ons to enhance its workflow. I'm not a fan of having a huge number of add-ons cluttering up my, up my interface, so I only use them once I found essential for my work as a senior hard surface artist. F2 F2 allows you to select uh, vertexes and create polygons by pressing F instead of dealing with trees. It comes with Blender, you just need to activate it. Loop Tools Also included by default. Find it in the uh, add-on list uh, and activate it. Offers many useful functions, but I primarily use Circle, Flatten, Relax. However, I recommend exploring its other features more extensively. I'll leave a link in description for additional resources on this add-on. Edgeflow. This add-on is not included by default, but I believe it should be. It's available for free on GitHub, link in description. It has two functions, but the most important one is Edgeflow which helps correct errors when working with smoothed surfaces and cylinders. Bull tool. A basic add-on, activate it right away. It allows you to add hotkeys for quick boolean operations and improvise the visibility of boolean tools. Asset creation tool. A free add-on. You can download it from the provided link it adds to the end panel. It offers quite a few functions, but I will highlight the ones I find the most important. This is quick unlocking and resetting normals for several objects at once. Modifier tool. I will need to check if it's available for free, but it's free. It adds several convenient buttons and slightly reorganize the modifier tab interface. Texel density checker. I don't understand why such a basic feature for UV unwrapping and isn't included by default. Here's the link for you to enjoy. Reason Bridge. This one's a paid add-on, and while there are free alternatives, this is simply the best. It offers fast setup and provides a quick way to send meshes for unwrapping and packing in Reason, preserving all names and parameters. A must-have add-on if you use Reason. Simple renaming panel. Lastly, a solution for mass mesh renaming. This topic is quite popular, with built-in functions and numerous external solutions, but this one caught my eye the most. Just look at how quick and convenient it is. You can even combine it with Asset Creation tool for added efficiency. Even while preparing this video, I discovered a couple of cool buttons in this add-on that, for some reason, I hadn't used before. Now I'm eager to go through the list myself, ensuring I'm not missing out anything and optimize my workflow to minimize routine tasks. See you next time!